So does the brand new PlayStation Portal work away from home? Well, I've come all the way to one of the very finest eateries in all of the UK, which is Nando's, to see if my PS Portal can remote play my PS5 games at home on their public Wi-Fi. And I had so many questions going into this, such as, will it even connect? And even if it does work, then will I still be able to play all of my favorite PS5 games in full 1080p resolution with no latency at all, just like I can at home? Plus we'll test out connecting to a 4G and 5G hotspot on my phone to see if that works with the portal too. So let's dive straight in and to keep the portal safe I tried putting it into my amazing Steam Deck case which is one of the very best cases that I've ever used. But with the PS Portal having a slightly awkward design it just would not fit. So rather reluctantly, the PS Portal had to travel completely naked with nothing to protect it on the journey. And it was at this point I was getting vibes that maybe Sony didn't design the portal to be used outside the home. With no official case for it being available and its unusual design allows for it to be pretty exposed to easy knocks and scrapes. Thankfully it made it to Nando's in one piece, time to fill up the refillable drink. By the way, if any of you amazing viewers watching around the world ever get the chance to come to the UK, then absolutely make sure that you eat here at Nando's, which is a Portuguese restaurant serving the most incredible peri chicken and chips. So I've just finished and I'm stuffed. Let's carry on up. Hang on a minute. Let's just get a quick dessert. Gelado. Done and dusted. Okay, so let's do this. So we'll power the portal on and we'll get an error message saying that no internet is found. So we need to swipe up on the top right to bring up the menu, head into settings, set up internet connection, and it's found the Nando's free public Wi-Fi. It takes a few moments to connect and we've got an error message that states that this network requires an additional validation step that requires a web browser, so connect to a different network. I did try it one more time just to make sure and it gave me back the same error message. Let me double check this on my iPad and yes, this shows that the PS Portal does not work at all on any public Wi-Fi that requires a web browser pop-up to log in, which is incredibly disappointing. As the Nando's Wi-Fi has a 47 megabits per second download speed and 43 upload. So let's hope Sony puts a browser on the portal sometime soon so that we can enjoy these types of networks. I think I did see another public Wi-Fi available, so let's head back into settings and network. And yes, let's try connecting to the venue's public Wi-Fi and hope that theirs isn't a pop-up browser that's needed. Hang on, yes, it says we are connected to this public Wi-Fi result. So let's try connecting and this is very tense as if this does work, then it means I can play my favorite PS5 games on the portal while eating Perry chicken, which is absolutely living the dream. Wow, this is taking a while. It's really thinking about this. And yes, we are in. I think that this may be it guys. I think we may have done it. Oh, hang on though, it seems to have frozen. I'm trying to press some buttons, including the touchscreen, but nothing is happening. Ah, uh, just when we were so close as well. The Wi-Fi does not seem strong enough to support the connection required for the PS Portal. Let me restart the device, Tech Solution 101, <laughs> and maybe this might do it. Let's hold our breath. Okay, so it's now loading up. Again, it's taking quite a while to think about it, much longer than it takes to connect on the home Wi-Fi. And yes, we are in again. And this time the buttons seem to work. Let's see how it plays. And hopefully there's no lag and it's in full 1080p resolution. So let's find out. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's crashed and become unresponsive again. Ah! Just out of interest, let's check what the speed of this venue's public Wi-Fi is. And yes, it's only 7 megabits per second download and 15 up. Well under the minimum 15 megabytes per second that Sony recommends. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, then be sure to like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and enable notifications so you don't miss my full PS Portal review coming soon. You guys are awesome. And finally, let's test out connecting to a hotspot. I've got a 5G signal in the car park of Nando's, so let's do the speed check and it's showing an error message. Let's try connecting to the hotspot, but nope, error message. So let's drive somewhere else. Eight weeks later. So we're now at a different location. We're on 4G with a 65 megabits per second download speed and four upload. So this should be good enough. Let's connect to a mobile hotspot and nope, it's saying it can't find the Wi-Fi network. I've just thought that I have private relay on which acts as a VPN of sorts. So let's disable this and see if this makes a difference. And now it's showing 5G for some reason with a whopping 437 megabits per second download speed and six upload. Let's try connecting and nope. The portal doesn't seem to have the ability to connect to a mobile hotspot. So from this experience, we can learn that the PlayStation portal does not currently work with public Wi-Fi's that require a web browser pop-up, which is really unfortunate. So let's really hope that Sony does address this as soon as this is a massive opportunity and is surely a simple fix in adding a web browser to the portal. Nor does it seem to work with mobile hotspots, which again is really unfortunate. There is a good chance it will work on other Wi-Fi networks that have a strong signal and don't require a website pop-up like at our workplaces perhaps and at homes of family and friends. So if you have tried this out then let us know your experiences in the comments below as well as your thoughts on the PS Portal. And as a little extra bonus watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to give you some more images of the incredible Nando's Perry Chicken and also share this awesome quote. My life isn't perfect, but I am thankful for what I have. I really do believe that if we are grateful for what we do have instead of focusing on what we don't have, then we'll live much more fulfilling lives. So stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to know whether Remote Play or the PS Portal. And check this video out if you want to know whether Remote Play on the PS Portal or using Chiaki on the ROG Ally is better. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.